Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 28th through November 3rd. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. Now, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saji. What do we got? The overall energy for the reading, the Seven of Swords. This may apply to the current situation I'm seeing uh, showing up in here for you. Um, and we'll get to that. It gives me a sense of part of you knows that something is off about something. Um, but we'll get there fully in a minute. And then some. In the recent past, the star, the chariot, the page of wands. This is that feeling of someone that's just, you know, you know how they say, I'm on the right path here. Kind of like that. It feels like, oh my God, you know, everything's tying up in a great way. Everything's great. I feel like, I, I feel like I, I'm where I should be, you know? Um, so it's one of those energies. It feels really, really good to you here. Um, you're pursuing something, some sort of goals, and you're, you're feeling like, I'm good. I'm good here in this pursuit. Um, in the current situation, the sun, the queen of pentacles, the five of swords, this is where that part of you that feels that something is off is definitely at play because I see the energy of deception there. You're telling me here with the sun and the queen of pentacles that um, you're feeling that whole energy of self-love, you know, putting yourself first. That You're doing it. You're in the midst of it. You're like, yeah, I'm there with it, man. I feel it. Feel it truly. I see two cards here surrounding this, what you're telling me, uh, pointing towards you saying you lie. Not fully, not fully. You are doing it, obviously. But are you really there in that feeling it that you're doing it? You know, that 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 sense of self-love, like have you reached it truly? And according to you here, you would say yes. According to these cards here that surround this energy, it would be like, no, you may be very close to it, but you're not there yet. So there's still some work to be done here in this department of self-love and putting yourself first, you know? Um in the immediate future, the six of wands, the emperor. The death card. All right. Feeling really good here, stepping into your power, feeling like you're in charge of something potentially, but you feel good. You feel like I'm on top of the world, but in a good way, you know, in a in a not non-cocky way, kind of like, you know, on top of the world, I can do whatever the fuck I want. No, not in that way. In a good way, in a way of Hey, I'm responsible for my own choices in my own life and, you know, things like that kind of a way. Um, through this energy, you're actually stepping up and potentially closing something off that no longer serves you. So, okay, cool. Are you? Or is that just closing off and you're like, oh, I feel good about it. I don't know. We'll get there and we'll see. Let's clarify. Let's do the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Wands. All right. Um, it feels like you care about a situation here. Potentially that involves a person, I don't know. But you're not involving yourself in it. You're like, I'm not going there. I'm not doing that. Or you're just not in close proximity to it, but you care deeply for the situation. I don't think mm, it's kind of half half part of you doesn't really want to deal with whatever's going on there. Um, part of you seems to be at a distance anyway. So it kind of looks like, well, I'm here and I can't do shit about it anyway. So it's almost looking like that's your advantage because if you are closer to it, you may not have wanted to deal with it anyway. Um, but you care for the situation. You know, so I'm not sure what kind of situation we're talking about, but one that you care about and that you're potentially at a distance from and there's not much you can do. Not that you would want to do 
anything about it. Um, okay. Let's do the star in the recent past. The magician, the devil, the emperor. Wow. I'm so curious to get to this one here then. Because the emperor there is the emperor here, but that has the devil attached to it. So whatever you're manifesting there, you think that that's what you want. This is, this is one of those where I see someone showing up and split into two. The real them, the higher self that knows exactly what's best for the person. And the one ran by the mind that thinks there is no higher self, there is no whatever. I'm going to want what I'm going to want only from here. And that's the one I'm dealing with there, the one from here. I think I want this, so this is what I'm going to pursue. Not realizing that maybe that's not for their, you know, best interests. Maybe that's not the best choices they could make. But if that's what they want, you know, um, the heart wants what it wants. No, that would be the mind there. Okay, so that's what you're pursuing something from. That kind of an energy. Let me do the chariot. Ten of cups, eight of pentacles, ace of swords. This looks so by the book, you know. Okay, you know, I meet someone. We kind of work on something here. We're building something nice. We're putting it together nicely. There's love. There's stability. There's all sorts of good things. But it looks like a by the book and almost like rehearsed kind of an energy. So one of those that we've been taught, hey, you know, by the time you're 20, you should have achieved this in your life. By the time you're 30, you should have achieved this in your life. Societal norms, uh, kind of a deal, you know. So it involves something like that here. This whole idea of I'm on the right path, you know, probably by the time you were 30, you had everything that the book said, you know, or something or very close to it, at least, because. It's one of those, okay, this is what I'm doing here. All right. Let me do the page of wands. I'm not sure if that was how it all felt or if there were points in your experience where you felt that, like you're um, kind of marking off some sort of rules of life or something. And it felt like, yeah, I think I'm doing it right here, you know? Um, page of wands in the recent past, you get the chariot, the page of cups, the six of cups. Yeah, soul connection, love. I'm doing it right. I'm on the right path here. And it did feel, even from a feeling perspective, so it's not only you looking at it, everything looks good on paper, so it should be right, right? It did feel good in the moment. It did feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing, you know? And it all starts with that devil energy being infiltrated in all of your manifestation here. Um, in the sense of, you know, you did your homework, that's for sure. Just like most of us do, because we're all kind of uh, wired up in that way, you know, until we decide, let me unplug myself and let me see what I'm about, truly. Why are there, these kids are loud. We have the loudest kids in the neighborhood. I realized that yesterday, right here across the fence. I'm like, why are they here and not way over there? It's the kids at the end of the day. Um, in the current situation, you get the, for the sun, you get the moon, the ace of cups, the five of pentacles. Ooh, this is where duality applies big time. The sun and the moon, right? Light, dark. Daytime, nighttime kind of a thing at the same time. Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, love split in that love, cut off of that love, love, non-love, basically. There's a lot of duality applying here for you. And it's all surrounding the concept of happiness. Can you be happy if you're not miserable? You know, can you appreciate happiness if you haven't gone through pain? Not really. It's the contrasting of everything. It shows up quite like that. <laughs> Dwelling. Okay, learn through it or something. Or you are learning through it. Um, interesting. Let's do the Queen of Pentacles. The King of Wands, the Lovers, the Page of Pentacles. There's a connection. Uh, you heard the kids, huh? Come here. Come here. 
Come here, come here, come here. There's no reason for you to scream too. They're, they're doing enough of that on their own. Come here. Come here. Sit. Hey, Shh. cut it out. Sit. Come on. Come on. Cut it out. You're good. They, they, they're gone. I'm not saying anything anymore. You're good. You're okay. Let's, uh, let's not make them yell any louder. Um, there's a connection here, a pretty strong one. Is it a new one? It feels like a new one. Or are you experiencing a connection through these new gained kinds of perspectives of duality, you know? The love appreciation through the pain of it or the pain through the love and the happiness. I don't know. It feels different. Even if it's not a new one, you would feel it through a different kind of a different angle. There's a different angle to it. And you're learning that and you're seeing that. You're going through quite the healing here. I'm like, where does this show up? You're, you're coming from the chapter of, you know, I'm leading my life by the book and all of that. And then bam, in the middle of these deep ass energies of a lot of healing and different perspectives of things. Interesting. Let me do the five of swords. Three of cups, nine of cups, ace of pentacles. Yeah, something shifted within you. And because of that, you're, you're jumping from the uh, by the book way of doing things uh, into a more intricate kind of a way, which is, I feel like you haven't really established this new way necessarily. Um, it's a very interestingly deep kind of a way. But I feel like it's not yet set in the sense of how you're going to function from now on. But definitely the book is out the window. You're no longer doing that. You know, even though on the surface, it kind of looks like the same. It's very different the way you're approaching things here. Because um, you still want to bring the book back and the book doesn't apply anymore because something shifted within you too deeply for the book to come in and say, hey, I want my role back no longer it doesn't apply it doesn't work it, it, it's like when i you know when you first and i'm gonna give my example when when i first went into like deep healing and everything kind of blasted apart for me and i was like i don't think i want to do this anymore it's pretty difficult you know and i feel like to some extent we all get to that point where we dive into things and then we're like uh-oh okay this is too much i think i want to go back to my old life <laughs> it's like no you can't no matter how much you're going to want to bring that book back, you're not going to be able to. So that's why the deceptive comes into play here, this deceptive energy. Um, okay. So I see you having the tendency to, to bring the book back because, and it's only because the energies, the new energies that you're functioning from haven't settled in yet, you know? So it kind of feels like you don't know what you're doing at times. And because of that, you're kind of like, old days were better. I had the rules from the book. I knew exactly where to go. What to, this is all over the place, you know. Um, it's just different. And you need to let it settle into something. The new different. The new way you're going to do things. Because it hasn't settled yet. It's still a little bit of, again, it's a little bit of duality there. There's a little bit of contrast. Learning through contrast. There's a little bit of feeling things in a different way. Yeah. A little bit of everything there. Um, for the Six of Wands in the immediate future, you get the Three of Wands, the World card, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there it is. You're just going to need some time. There's a chapter closing off here for you. And you're excitedly almost jumping into the, the, the next chapter here, into the new way of being, of doing things. And you might look at it as a subtle kind of a shift where you're not going to see much of a change necessarily. You might feel like, okay, I'm not doing things in the same way like I used to, but that's normal. We all go through that. Okay, but there's a deeper change at play within you here. You just need to let it settle. You just need to let it sit so that it applies into your life, which it happens here at a little bit of a later time. Um, okay. And understand that no matter how much you're going to want to go back to the book, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Because that's you fighting the process here. That's at play. Uh, for the emperor in the immediate future, you get 
the Empress, the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups. Yeah, things are going to intensify here for sure. Things are going to intensify. Uh, the way you feel about certain connections, and there's one in particular here, is going to shift. How you felt even five days ago, you're going to feel very different about it today. You know, in a good way. You're showing up quite confused when that happens, which is normal. Because it's like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I settle? Do I feel this like this? And then I feel it bigger. And then I feel it a little less the, the next day. And then, you know, like, why can't I be settled? In Because you're growing, you know, day by day, you're growing. The more that happens, the more your heart opens, the more your way of perceiving things shifts and changes for the better. It scares us because we don't know what the fuck that is. You know, we've never dealt with that, but it shouldn't. It's confusing. Let it be confusing. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling different now than I did five days ago. Okay. You yeah. know, let's see where that takes me. Instead of, what the fuck is wrong with me? Am I crazy? Am I going nuts? Am I? Probably not. You're just shifting. Uh, for the death card in the immediate future, you get the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. You're closing something off here, but you're coming from a very clear place. But I feel like this closing something off has to do with the previous chapter that you're, the, the chapter of the book that definitely closes off. You get somewhere here, you get to the point of understanding there's no way for me to go back to doing things in the way I used to, you know, by the book is out the window. Um, so I feel like it has to do with that. Now, I'm not sure if there's a relationship somewhere involved in here where you're showing up as I got to do what I got to do. I got to close this off. Could be. If it is, it somehow involves basically the old uh, chapter that you're coming out of you know but you're looking good you're looking confident you're looking like you know what you're doing so by all means do it whether or not it involves a person in there you would know let me see what the universe has the justice card the four of wands the wheel of fortune as you shift all of the things people energies you're connected to um, not necessarily that they're going to shift, but as you shift, you're going to perceive them as shifting, whether in a good way or not such a good way that you would have to release some of them. You'll see as you go. But just understand that your shift impacts everything you're connected to. So just so you don't have any surprises of everything's changing. Everything's changed. What's going on here? You are going on. That's why everything is changing because you're changing. So just as a reminder, the universe is kind of like, don't forget, you know, when you see changes in your relationships with people and it's because it starts with you, you, you are shifting. So everything you're connected to is going to shift as well. Cool. Intense. I got to say, I wasn't expecting this to go. So, you know, especially because it started. So by the book, I'm like, uh oh, it's one of those. And then it's like, hold on. But anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.